If you follow Matt Gray and Dan Coy, you would have definitely seen this kind of motion effects and animation. If you still have no clue on how to create this kind of animations, learn it right now from this video. You can become a pro editor by learning this kind of animations and charge a lot of money. So here are the two animations that we are going to create today in CapCut. You will find a lot of tutorials online on how to make this in Premiere Pro and After Effects. But no one teaches you how to make this in CapCut. So drop a comment below if you want me to do a series on that. Let's dive in. Let's start with the first animation. Click on library, drag the first background, rotate it and expand it from the side to fill the entire canvas. Now go to text, drag the default text on top, expand it till the end. We are going to add four words. The first one is goals. Go to effects. I'm going to use this one. Increase the font size to 20 and bring it over here. Next drag the layer up by pressing alt. This will create a duplicate layer. Over here, right mindset. Basically, you have to align the I below the L. You have to add two more layers, one and two. In the first layer, right focus, keep it over here. And for the last layer, I'm going to scroll down, right and drive. We'll need one more layer. For that, again, I'm going to drag it up. In this, we have to write the word like, but it is going to be one letter below another. Go to effects and disable any effect. So right now, if you see, there is very less space between the characters. Let's click on this and add some space. Go to basic. In the character, increase the space and keep it around 2. Let's do the same for the rest. Let's keep it 2. And same thing for the last one. Now we'll need to make some alignment. Now let's place the L on top of the first L. Let's increase the line width. I'm going to keep it around 5. I'm going to zoom in. The L looks good. Now let's change the I. Let's align the word focus on top of F. And lastly, same thing with the E. The word life is going to appear at around 3 seconds. So I'm going to trim this on the left and keep it at around 3 seconds, which you can see over here. Now let's give motion animations to the words using keyframe. Let's add the first keyframe. When the word life is going to appear, we need to decrease the opacity of rest of the words. For that, add a keyframe in blend. Decrease the opacity. Keep it around 10. Take it 20 frames to the left. For doing that, press on shift and left arrow. One and two times. Add another keyframe and increase the opacity back to 100. We need to do the same for the rest. And for the word life, we are going to do the exact reverse of this. Go to the start, add a keyframe. Decrease the opacity, keep it around 20. This is going to start from over here. And then where we have added the keyframe, at that position, this is going to become 100%. Again, go to opacity, add a keyframe and make it 100%. So right now, if you see, so this is slowly blending and we have the word life popping up. Now let's add keyframes to the word. We'll start with the word goals. Take it 15 keyframes to the right. This is 10 keyframes. You can see the keyframes over here. Right now, when I press shift plus right key, it has gone 10 keyframes. Now, if I press just the right key, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is 15 keyframes. Scroll up over here in position and size, add a keyframe. Then take the player to the start, add another keyframe over here and take the word out. Let's do the same for the next word over here. It is going to start where we ended the keyframe for the last word. So for this, I'm going to add a keyframe over here. Take it 15 frames to the right. This is 10 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Add another keyframe. So this is the position where it is currently. Again, go back to the first keyframe. And then take it out of the frame. Let's do the same for focus. I'll tell you to do it one last time. So at the start, if you see, the canvas is empty. Now let's take the animation to a next level by adding the sound effects. Sound effects are going to be very simple. Just go to audio, click on sound effects and search for mouse click. Take the player to the start and over here, press the plus icon. So it just added automatically to our timeline. This one starts over here. So let's take a copy of this. You can press on alt and drag it to the right. Let's drag it for a third time. And then let's take the copy for the last time. 
and when the final word pops out let's give it a magic reveal so go over here just search for magic reveal so i am going to place it somewhere over here let's see this one This completes our first animation. So now let's head on to the second one, where we are going to create this motion animation. Similar to the first one, again let's go to library and drag our background to the timeline. I am going to select the ratio as 9 by 16, rotate this and fill the canvas. This clip is going to be small, so I am going to trim it from the right, go to text and add a text layer on top. Let's write the text. If you want to grow, change the font. I am going to keep it as Montserrat. Let's decrease the size. I'm going to zoom in and let's take a copy of this. I'm going to take a copy by selecting Alt and drag it up. Go to the first one, over here, delete the word digital. Now scroll down in the position inside, change the x-axis so that it fits exactly on top of our other text. So now if you see, it is fitting exactly. If you want to see if it is precise or not, you can go to color and change the color. If you see, it is not yet very precise. So again, scroll down. Okay, this looks good and change the color back to white. Now go to stickers and search for circle. I'm going to choose this one. You can choose anything that you want. Let's reduce the size from the sides and take this to the start. We'll need to reduce the sides further. Before we add keyframes to our ball or our circle, let's first change the color of the text and add keyframes to it. Scroll down over here, go to color, take the color picker tool Take it on top of the circle or if you can even choose it from over here and click once. Immediately, the color of the text is going to change. Now right click on this and create a compound clip. Go to video and select on mask and select the first one which is horizontal mask. Rotate the mask and bring it to the start. Add a keyframe. Then take the player around 10 frames from the end. Add another keyframe and then drag the mask to the right. Right now, you are not able to see the red color as we have the text layer on the top. To make sure this goes below the compound clip, right click on this text layer and create another compound clip. Then go to video, in basic, scroll down and select the layer as one. As you can see, we have got our red color. Now let's add keyframes to the ball. I'm going to zoom in. Let's add the first keyframe over here. Take it three frames to the right. Add another keyframe and take it up. Again, go three keyframes to the right. Add a keyframe. I'm going to speed run through this process so that you don't waste your time. This is where you end it because now what we will need to do is that we are going to add the text go over here in a line and the ball is going to be on the top of the text. So leave this for the moment. Now let's add the text. We are going to add the text go over here. Again go to text, add the default layer over here. I'm going to trim the layer delete the rest. Over here we need to write O around 10 to 15 times. So I'm just going to write go one below another. Let's change the font. Let's keep it Montserrat. Before animating it, I'm going to align it perfectly. Okay, something like this looks good. Now go to animations, scroll down and select fold. I'm going to make this big. I also want to give the effect as if it is going to appear faded in. On the same layer, we cannot add two or more effects. If I click on open, we no longer have the fold effect. But if I want to add fold effect as well as fading effect, we'll need to create a compound layer. This looks good. Right click on this and create a compound layer. Over here, again go to animations and click on fade. Now finally, let's animate the ball. After this, once we reveal the text, one, two, three, four, five. At this time, the ball should go at the top. So I'm going to zoom in and then let's take the ball to the top. I'm going to leave it over here. Let's adjust it properly. I'm going to adjust it somewhere over here so that we get enough time for the ball to travel to the top. So now we are done with the animation. So like always, let's add the sound effects to take it to the next level. So I have this sound of bouncing ball. I'm going to cut it over here. I'm going to take a copy of this and paste it over here. Right now, if you see, we have the sound of the ball bouncing. But when it arrives over here, I want to give it a different sound. And then 
When I finally have our tech of Go Digital, I want to add a boost sound. Let's add these two sounds. I'm just going to search for bouncing. Let's add this sound to get a fun effect. Okay, this is very fast. From over here on the speed, let's decrease the speed. Let's keep it around 0.6 and let's decrease the volume. And for the last part where we have the reveal of the word digital, let's add the whoosh sound. I'm just going to search for whoosh. I'm just going to drag it to a timeline. Just trim it. Let's trim it from the start. Keep it over here. Over here, I'm going to give it a fade in. And also, let's decrease the volume. Let's give it around minus 5 decibels. So we are done with the second animation. Let's see the final result. So I really hope this was helpful. So if you want me to create an ongoing series about motion animation, let me know down below in the comments. And if you want to know how to edit like other pro YouTubers, check out this playlist. And I will catch you in the next video.